Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to turn off notifications in Schoology. There are two ways, so we'll get started with how do you individualize um, your notifications per group. If you have a course or a group, you'll hit the drop down and select your course or group. Um, over on the right hand side, you'll find notifications. If you select that button, you'll have your choice to be able to check or uncheck notifications that you would like to receive or would not like to receive. Once you've made the changes, you'll go ahead and click Save Changes. Now this, of course, saves the changes for that one course only. Maybe you have 20 courses, or maybe you have 10 courses, maybe you just have three, but you want to turn off the notifications for everything in one clean swoop. If you want to do that, what you will do is hit the drop-down arrow next to your name, and then select Notifications from that drop-down. You should see that they will load, I'm gonna scroll down here, and it's very specific here. You'll see my academic notifications. I have the choice of receiving them on my mobile or email if you've connected your device. So for example, a course updated, um, update post, I can either keep it on, turn it off, or customize it. If you do not wanna receive any notifications, you may consider just turning them all off. Um, as you're scrolling down, again, I think it's really important just to read and decide whether you want those emails or not. Um, as I scroll down to personal, one thing that I think I want to keep on is receive a private message. So if I get a message from another teacher, I'll get that email because I won't be checking um, Schoology you know, every hour, but I'll at least know that someone sent me a message. Um, and just kind of look through that, like I said, just to decide what's important to you, what do you want emails um, about as far as notifications go, and then turn off the things that you do not want notifications for. There is a Save Changes button at the bottom of this page, so if you do make changes, make sure that you select that. Um, and that should, of course, alleviate the load or the amount of emails you might be receiving from Schoology um, if you no longer want to receive those emails.